What's up, guys? This is Stacker Factor, and this is a Freaky Friday triple unboxing. Let's get stacking. All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. It is Friday. I have three boxes to open up here and I'm taking my wife out to Brazilian Steakhouse tonight. I am so pumped and uh, yeah, I'm just happy to be here and sharing this with you guys today. So I have no clue what's in these. I've taped over the labels. They're good to go. I got the Sigma and the iPad charged up and ready as well. And I'm just really excited to be able to show what people, fellow stackers are selling out there guys. and. I'm gonna be putting their, all the people here, I'm gonna be putting their links in the description below. Granted, everything tests out, which I know it will. And I have a PMs for Sale instructional video part two coming. This is what you do when you receive the product. But there was, there was a little hitch in this one and it's really, really cool. So you guys are gonna to want to watch it because it's even more informative than how I thought it was gonna turn out. But for now, Let's get into these packages. So, first one here is packaged really nice. I always prefer a box over an envelope, but these little padded envelopes are, are perfect, especially for smaller stuff. So let's get this open here and let me focus. Okay, and remember guys, watch in 4K if you really want to experience the best that Stacker Factor has to offer. And let me just make sure there's no identifying information. There isn't, okay. Sometimes people reuse envelopes and uh, they won't blur out their name and info. Let's do this carefully here. And focus. Wow, triple enveloped. So I'll definitely uh, give this seller some props for that. not easy to get into and here we go what do we have here we have a couple of Morgans in flips I like to keep all my Morgans in capsules even the ugly ones it's just it's just the OCD in me you guys will find that there are a lot of OCD stackers but OCD can be a good thing means you can be very detail oriented. There's an 1881 and an 1884. So these aren't in the best condition, but I don't really care. There is still about three quarters of an ounce of silver in these and they are still way over a hundred years old and still beautiful. Look at that. I don't remember what I paid for them, but when I buy Morgans these days, I'm looking around the $30 mark. And I know that sounds cheap, but I've been getting really good Morgans at that price on PMs for sale. You're not gonna find that anywhere else, just not. So we will test those in a few minutes. But for now, let's crack open this second package here. You want to find the seams, guys, if you don't know how to open packages uh, smartly. You want to find just the seams. And uh, I was hitting my tripod here, so let me fix this. My tripod. <laughs> okay. I really need to get a better uh, camera tripod setup, guys, and I will. Don't you worry. These videos are getting really fun to make. I really like doing these unboxings. And look what we got here. We got some werewolves. We got some werewolves. Oh yeah, okay. I have no clue how I'm gonna get this one out. One sec, I'll try to do this quick. And stay in focus so it's not all blurry. I don't wanna give you guys motion sickness. I just walked the dog, so I'm all sweaty and full of pollen. Okay, 
Okay, look at this beautiful maple. Gosh, the Royal Canadian Mint is just savage. Look at that. 2022. Beautiful in the capsule. Let's put that aside for now. And hack in to these werewolves. So I only have one of these. Uh, well, I only had one of these before today. And now I have three. And these are just ah, beautiful condition. Beautiful. BU. Better than BU. I'm going to be really careful with these. The one that I have is kind of beat up. And I haven't capsuled it or anything like that. I don't think it's worth it to spend the money on capsules for these, but I'm definitely going to either reflip them or find some way to store them so they're not just raw like this because these are just, oh gosh, I love that. Man, okay. Very happy with that purchase, so that's two for two for now. Let's get into this big boy here. And I'm not sure what's in this one. Oh God, there's paper everywhere here, okay. All right, guys, I'm gonna do this one off camera here real quick. All right, guys, that one was just too big to do on a camera. I would have knocked everything over. So, got a couple of padded envelopes here. Sorry, guys, the... Uh, Seller's name is on this, so I'm not going to flip it over, but this is vacuum sealed. Look at this. All right. Um, I don't really know how to go about opening it. Yeah, this is the seal. <laughs> the seller vacuum sealed this one. Whoa. All right. Talk about going the extra mile. Doubt you're going to get that from Atmex, guys. Okay. So let me, oh, I still didn't even break the seal there. Oops, okay, yeah, I did. Yes, what do we got in here? What do we got, guys? Stay in focus. Oh, it's amateur hour today. I'm sorry, guys, it's Friday. I'm pumped, so sorry about all the. Is that it? That is it, okay. All right, here we go. Phil harmonics in capsules. I'll probably take them out of these capsules because I have tubes of these. And look at that, gosh. Gorgeous, guys, gorgeous. I can't see the years at 2018, 2015. It's actually easier for you guys to see the year and the details of these coins on the camera here in 4k than it is for me to see them with my eyeballs but yeah one two three four five six seven eight so we got eight philharmonics one canadian maple two canadian werewolves and two morgans so what's the math there eight ten twelve thirteen little under 15 ounces when you throw in the Morgans there. Oh, and then there was this one. Totally forgot about this one, guys. Um, geez. This one came... Uh, shoot, who did this one come with? I think it came with these ones. But this here is actually a really special one. Where did it come with the Morgans? I don't even remember. I had so many packages. Okay. I want to give the seller credit for this because I'm actually really excited about this one. This is a quarter ounce of platinum, uh, what is it, a third of an ounce of platinum, I believe it is, from Panama. It's actually 999 platinum, so 1976 I believe it was made.
I forget what this guy's name is. His name is like Bolivar or something. He was like really instrumental in uh, the formation of a lot of Latin American countries. And I should know this. I just, I'm really bad at Latin American history. Although my wife is Latin and I really do love Latin America. And it's one of my favorite places to vacation. I've actually been to Panama a few times. Panama rocks. But yeah, some more platinum to the stash as well. All right, guys, so this was a great haul today. I'm going to grab the uh, Sigma and the iPad, and we're going to get to testing. So give me a second. Okay. So let me see if I can get this out of the capsule easily. easy and this thing actually looks much better out of the capsule look at that just gorgeous okay we are set on the scale there two ounces Troy and it is point 30. Okay. That is exactly how much it's supposed to weigh. So now we're going to place it on the Sigma. Go to weight. Point. Where's my point? All right. Sorry about that, guys. The Sigma app does not want to give me all these options when I have it in landscape mode. So we had to switch it to portrait mode here. We're going to go point 30. Ounces Troy total weight. Sample is on the Sigma Pro Mini. And no, that is not testing. Okay, so let's change the other platinum. And again, that is not testing. I am not sure why. So it might be because this is not platinum or it might be 90% or something else. So let's try one more time. And I'm gonna flip the coin over and try the other side. Nope, okay. Not sure why it's doing that guys, but uh, the last thing I'm gonna try is since it is such a thin coin, I'm gonna put it back in the capsule and try testing it through the capsule as that will give it a little more height. And no, it is not testing. Okay, I'm not sure why, I'm gonna to have to do a little more homework on this. I don't do a lot of platinum testing on the Sigma, and all the platinum that I have tested on here has been pure platinum. So if this is 90% or something else, then maybe that's not why, maybe that's why it's not testing, but that's not good. However, I have no reason to doubt that this isn't platinum. So I will have to do a little more research and I will do a video about this and let you guys know why that is not testing. For now, we're gonna test a few of these Philharmonics. I might just test them all and then just speed up the video so you guys don't have to watch me test the same thing over and over again. But for now, we're gonna go one ounce is Troy, metals, silver, pure silver. Okay, so I think I know what's going on here, guys. I am going to reset the Sigma and uh, tell you what is happening. Okay, guys, I have reset the Sigma here as well as the iPad. Now, when I spoke to Sigma Metalytics on the phone and asked for Easter eggs, one of the Easter eggs was that 
you need to let your silver sit at room temp with your sigma for five to 10 minutes on days that are especially hot when it's out in the mailbox because the silver can actually absorb quite a bit of heat and it causes it not to test right. I had just brought these in. It is over 90 degrees here today. So I let them sit for a little while, reset the equipment, and lo and behold, they're testing just fine. Just as I expected. I'm gonna look at the dimensions there. These are really hard to dimension test in the capsule. Let's see if I could get this out quick. I can, okay. That should fit right in between those two lines and it does just perfectly. It's hard to see from this angle guys because once again, it's slanted here, but that is in between those two lines. So I'm going to run through the last six of these real fast. I'm not gonna dimension test them, I'm just gonna purity test them. All of these are looking good. I'm gonna do that maple as well when I have all the settings on pure silver in one ounce since that's what it's supposed to be. And guys, big news. I hired a graphic designer on Fiverr to whip me up some designs for a stacker factor sticker. So I'm gonna be giving away some really cool stickers. I can't wait. I will have a uh, design unveiling video, but I am pumped about that. Okay, let's see if I can fit the two ounce werewolves on here. I can. Now, notice how Royal Canadian Mint Silver tests really, really like close to the middle of the green. That's because they're four nines fine, as is most stuff from the Royal Canadian Mint. And this machine is just super sensitive. And that's what I love about it. It can literally tell the difference between three and four nine fine. Bam, beautiful. Let's check the dimensions. And I love how it knows the dimensions like that. Now you can adjust um, the dimensions for certain things just a little bit. So like for bars, for example, the height and the width, because all bars are different sizes, but this machine just can tell by running current through the element, how big it's supposed to be. I love that. There's a sensor on the top and the bottom of this machine, so that's kind of how it, how it figures. And yeah, it's just really, really nice seeing something test in the middle of the green there. It's just a great feeling. And that's why I love the Royal Canadian Mint. So now for Morgans, we are going to test them. Um, let's see, I forget how much Morgans weigh, guy. Give me, guys, give me a second to look that up. Okay, guys, I should have actually memorized this by now. I have so many Morgans, but 0 0.086, wait, no, clear that. 0.86, okay, ounces Troy, total weight. Now we are gonna go here, silver, and there's a whole bunch of options. I usually use uh, pre-1900s for the pre-1900 Morgans, just like it says, but sometimes they made like 1921 Morgans out of blanks that were made pre-1900, so it gets a little tricky but this is testing right where it needs to test. And we are going to check the dimensions. And look at that, guys. That is right in there where it's supposed to be. And this one is testing. 
good as well. Put it in here and yep, that's where it needs to be. So cool. So far everything has tested and we are gonna try this platinum again and see if we can get it to test this time. So we're going to weight, 0.30 ounces, Troy, total weight, metals, other, platinum. All right, let's see. And there we go, guys, there we go. So don't freak out if you get a Sigma and something doesn't test right, right away. Um, there are a lot of little Easter eggs with these machines and it's, there's certain info that you really need to know. And let me take this out again and see if I can put it on the iPad again. And there we go. It's testing right where it needs to test. So I will uh, definitely cover the Easter eggs in my Sigma instructional video. I wrote most of them down that the uh, employees were telling me on the phone. Where's my iPad switch? Oh, I have my iPad upside down, okay. But there is a lot to know about this machine, just little things. Okay, sorry. This video is kind of a crap show today, guys. Um, it was a long week. I'm stressed out, or I was stressed out. This is my de-stressing moment. I didn't really prepare for the, God. I didn't really prepare for this video too well. I just got these packages in like 20 minutes ago, and was just really excited to show them with you guys. Oh, and I am sweating bullets right now because of the heat. I turned on the AC, but it hasn't fully kicked on yet. One word of advice and caution. I try not to use gaskets like this black gasket here because I have heard that they can cause toning over a long period of time. I don't know if that's true or not. I would kind of assume that they would use stuff that wouldn't tone silver since, you know, they know they're gonna be in these air tights. But I always try to have my silver in a capsule that actually fits it perfectly <coughs> or in a tube or some other means or even just raw. I really don't like having anything that was synthesized or made from petroleum touching my silver. And your flips, those little plastic things that these these Morgans came in and the werewolves came in, you really want to make sure they're non-plasticized flips. I've heard stories from dealers about really nice numismatic coins just getting ruined because they've been in flips for 40, 50 years and those flips basically like turn into a sludge and got get all over the coin. So Really like make sure you keep your silver free of plastic. Now, platinum is definitely okay with flips and gaskets. Platinum is one of like the most hardest metals to tarnish or to really have any type of environmental damage happen to it. So you are good to go with platinum. And I'm glad this thing tested, guys. You know, it's it's not fun getting a misreading on the Sigma because the first thing you, that you wonder is, oh crud, is this fake? Did I get ripped off? And uh, it just sucks because it's in the back of everyone's mind, especially when you buy from the private market. But I've never had that happen. Never had it happen. Not a single time have I had someone try to pawn off a fake to me other than eBay, other than eBay. And I knew they were fakes. I knew they were fakes. So 
RPMs for sale, once again, just adding weight to my stack at a great price. I mean, for these fills, I think I paid 28 bucks a pop for them right now when spot was over 25. You're not gonna find that at a local coin store. You might be able to find that online if you pay with crypto and wait like three weeks, but I paid with Zelle and I waited like five days. So yeah, you 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 can keep buying your your fancy uh, high priced generics while I scoop up all of these beautiful sovereigns for the same price and faster shipping and make connections with other stackers, not a soulless corporation. But guys, it is Friday. Go out, take your, your lady or your man or whatever out and have fun, you know? Stack responsibly, just like you should be drinking responsibly and partying responsibly. But it's heating up. It's going to be a crazy summer. All kinds of nuts things are happening in the world. I saw a report yesterday that Ukraine tried to drone strike a building that they thought Putin was going to be in or something. And that would not be good. I know a lot of people have opinions when it comes to the Ukraine conflict, but that would lead to some serious stuff. And at that point, if something like that happened, I have no clue what it would be doing to silver and gold. I mean, there's obviously bigger problems at that point, but I'm trying to stay on topic and keep you guys focused on silver and gold when I talk about the news. It just all kind of interrelates. And I hope things get resolved peacefully all around the world. And a good way to start doing that is to return the sound money straight up. Like uh, Bix Weir says, Mexico should be the richest country in the world because they have the most silver. And silver is real money, and that's what the whole world should be transacting in. There's a lot of other stuff that I'm not really going to touch on in this video too deep because we're already at 30-something minutes here, but Zimbabwe is trying to do a gold-backed crypto, I believe it is. That's kind of crazy. I hope it works out for them. I really do because that country has seen a lot of economic strife over the last gosh, as far back as I can remember. But that's going to do it for this video, guys. This is Stacker Factor. Thank you for watching me. I love each and every one of you. And the channel's blowing up. So keep supporting me by just watching me and buying silver. And I'll keep making these videos for you guys. And as always, keep on stacking.